Hi, uh, this is episode four of Hacking Homeless, and I'm your homeless friend, Kai. Um, so, uh, I probably should have done this video first, uh, but, uh, this is for the newly homeless person. Actually, most of my videos are for the newly homeless person because, uh, if you've been homeless for uh, a long time, then you probably already know most of this stuff or how to get by pretty well on the streets. Um, it's not as difficult as you think. Um, if you're newly homeless, you're probably scared shitless right now. Um, you've lost everything. Um, and it's... I can tell you, it's pretty much the worst thing you're going to experience in your life. I'm sorry for that. But on the plus side, this is the worst thing you're going to experience in your life, ending up on the streets. It gets better. You're going to be okay. I promise. You can get through this. And... Even though you've lost everything, if you if you don't give up and you try real hard, you can get it all back. And if you decide that you don't want it all back, living on the streets is the best you're going to do. Well, I'm going to show you how to make that easier too. But I'm going to do my best to show you how to fight and how to get back to what you had. Um, if you're strong enough, don't give up. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, the first thing uh, when you end up on the streets or even when you're close to ending up on the streets uh, you want to apply for services, food stamps, most important. Um, uh, they're today they're called uh, SNAP, uh, Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program. Um, apparently, they like coming up with new acronyms. Uh, so uh, you can go to your um, local. Uh, what is it, AFS office, or, um, like, uh, um, your food stamp office, government assistance office, uh, there'll be plenty of people on the streets to ask, uh, where the food stamp office is. Also, uh, if you dial 211, uh, and ask them where the nearest uh, food stamp office is, they'll be able to tell you. Um, you can call from any cell phone or any landline. 211, uh, also, uh, they're a great resource. Uh, they, uh, if you have a house, they can uh, find places that will assist you with utilities and rent to help keep you from ending up homeless if you're low income. Um, and, uh, if you are homeless, uh, they have resources like uh, shelters, um, which I don't particularly subscribe, subscribe to the, the shelter program myself. Um, um, but uh, you can get um, places uh, where they have food boxes and you know locations of places where they'll give out clothes. Uh, Two one one, excellent resource. Um, Sorry, I have to check my notebook here. Uh, I wrote all this down because I wanted to. I wanted to get like the beginner's video out. Um, showers, uh, very important. <coughs> um, if it's at all possible, try and get a membership to the YMCA or a public pool. Or um, a gym. Uh, I know in a lot of places they have gym memberships uh, for uh, fifteen or twenty dollars a month for your basic. 
um, gym membership. I think the YMCA is fifteen or twenty dollars a month, um, and uh, I I think that you know at the at the very most you might spend you know a hundred dollars on a gym membership, uh, but even at a hundred dollars a month. It is worth it and later on in the videos I'll be showing you ways to make money while you're living on the streets um, to cover these expenses uh, it doesn't you know it, it's not gonna be uh, what you'd make it a nine-to-five job but um, uh, I, I hate to tell you this but nine-to-five jobs are probably something you're never gonna have while living on the streets it's just too difficult to get and too impossible to hang on to um, but you will be able to make money albeit not a lot you will be able to save some albeit not nearly as much as if you had a nine-to-five job but the benefit of living on the streets is you're not having to waste money on rent so the money you get you can uh, you can save towards building a better life for you um, I also recommend getting a bank account and a PayPal account. Um, you can start a bank account in your local area for $25 most times. Uh, it used to be $100, but they've uh, changed the rules on that. Um, the $25 accounts have a monthly fee. It's usually like $3. So, but you know, um, from a bank account, you can apply for PayPal. Um, and PayPal, uh, you can order off eBay. And one of the other things that I'm going to teach you in the videos is how to uh, how to start your own business, uh, ordering off of eBay, and you know, living on the streets. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'll get to that in in future videos. Today I got a lot of stuff to cover, and I apologize. Uh, but I, I've got all my ideas written down, and I will get to them. It's you know I, uh, I'm trying to post at least once a week. Um, it's difficult because you know, um, well, you know. Anyway, uh, okay. Um, food banks and daily feeds. Uh, 211 will give you a list of food banks and places to go to eat. Uh, if you um, if you don't have access to a cell phone or uh, calling uh, on a landline, uh, I know that pay phones have pretty much been eliminated now. Um, but uh, talk to other homeless people. I know when you first end up on the streets, it's scary, and you. Well, homeless people are, you're terrifying to people, so I understand that other homeless people would be terrifying to you. Um, yeah. But take the opportunity to get to know the other people in the streets uh, around you. Um, at the very least, uh, you can find out what's going on in your area, how the cops are, uh, where to sleep, uh, how to keep out of trouble and out of sight, where it's okay to panhandle, uh, those kind of things. Um, uh, uh, your best resources, people who've been there for a while and who've gone through the same thing you're going through. You don't, uh, you don't need to be afraid of these people. They have already been through what you've been through. And... Uh, I have too. That's why I make these videos. It's, you know, I'm, I, I want you to survive, and not and not just survive, but I want you to do well, and I want you to be able to get off the streets. Um, myself, I'm epileptic with a heart condition, and uh, I'm lucky I don't uh, have to sleep on the streets right now. Um, that could change at any time, but, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm staying at a friend's right now, so, yeah, uh, but, nothing lasts forever, and, uh, I don't,
currently have a job or <coughs> anyway uh, yeah back to my story uh, it's the middle of winter time it's hard to see somebody that you care about living on the streets uh, if you can um, try and make friends with somebody who will take you in on rainy days or when it gets too cold out or make friends talk to people uh, tell them your situation um, yeah and you know just people are going to be a huge resource to you get to know as many as you can talk to people don't be one of those people who withdraws into their shells and you know an introvert is a bad thing to be if you're homeless you need a support system of people around you you need them to believe in you um, all right um, camping I will uh, do a video on uh, how to camp where to camp um, <clears throat> uh, how uh, you can take and put compost underneath your tent uh, to keep it warm um, you uh, most importantly uh, if you can find a place like that's out of the way uh, in some bushes or some trees um, <clears throat> the best thing to do is to take a walk uh, and keep in mind that you're looking for a place that you can either tuck your stuff away during the daytime so you don't have to carry it uh, you can sleep um, you know uh, you feel protected most importantly you'll feel safe um, and uh, you know I'll teach you all about how to find those places uh, but yeah just take a walk around your area and look for places you can tuck in and if you're really looking you'll see other areas where people have found a place to tuck in and you'll learn to look for places like that um, <coughs> churches uh, whether you're religious or not it's a good idea to start going to church um, if you're really willing to do anything to get off the streets um, there are a lot of good people at churches and if you just sit through a sermon or two uh, and you start going and sit in the back row and I, I know you're probably going to be self-conscious about this because you're homeless, you're new to the church and you probably smell, I know I was when I started doing it, but there are a lot of people who are willing to help at a church. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, just the first few times people might look at you funny uh, but if you show up three weeks in a row I guarantee you'll have somebody come up to you and introduce themselves and probably introduce you to other people um, it's happened for me quite a few times and I've been all over the United States um, yeah I yeah if you're wondering why to listen to me I've been almost for a few years now and uh, I have been I took a trip uh, for a year and a half across the United States and I lobbied the Senate for a homeless bill of rights in DC for four months um, you know I have uh, I've been to places where they have micro homes for the homeless uh, tent cities uh, tent villages actually um, you know, I, I've gone around studying the, the issue of homelessness and specifically tried to learn how to solve it. Um, so I have a lot of experience in this area and I want to share it with you. Um, most importantly, 
this isn't going to be easy getting off the streets. Uh, it's going to take a long time. It may take a year or more. So dig in. Um, be prepared for a long haul. Uh, it does get better. You will survive this. And the most important thing I can tell you is don't give up. You know, um, homelessness isn't the end. It really isn't, I promise. Um, if you're not homeless and you've enjoyed the video, uh, please like my channel, subscribe. Um, or, yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, my donation page uh, is hiw dot us forward slash donation dot html no spaces um yeah uh any you know a couple bucks here and there like really makes a huge difference in my life um and uh you know uh if you're unable to uh donate through paypal to me at least uh try to find uh, another homeless person on the streets you know to help out um uh, if you are homeless, um, tell other people about the videos, um, and about the channel. Get them to like and subscribe. Uh, I want to help as many people as possible, and I, I, I do that by word of mouth. So, it's kind of important, uh, that you help out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.